Yo, we've been talking about this today, man. Just manifestation, just believing in your heart mm -hmm. and what comes out of your mouth becomes your reality. We've seen this happen, man, with this man since 2005. Talk about it. Tried to take him down. They didn't do nothing but let him sit on that battery pack for a few years and came back tripled up. Mm. We talk about those big names that's giving them props. We've seen Jay-Z receive them. We've seen Eminem receive them. We've seen the whole industry receive them. Tell the truth. We don't do that unless it's real. Universal realness, you can walk on any walk of life and you're going to appeal to everybody because real recognizes real. We said this when we first start having them up here. The whole movement, Buffalo, stand up. If you're not calling in right now and you're from Buffalo, you're doing a disservice. I'm ashamed of you. Mm. You got to love it, man. He came up here to talk about projects after projects after projects to the point, man, I got mixed up on what project we on now. <laughs> Prolific. It's something to be said about an artist who always has to create. And each and every project this man has put out, he treats it like it was his first or his last. He's so excited about music that he can't stop. A record company, a major label, couldn't withstand him. Because he has so much to give to the world. When you look at him, he's shining. He's mm -hmm. glistening right now. I feel like I'm in the North Pole. He's straight <laughs> from the party, and he came in anyway. He didn't have to come in today, but he came in to be with family right now. I want to welcome him back to the show. Give it up to West Side God. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. There you go. There you go. There you go. West Side Gun. Yo. They yo, gotta yo. say your name. We have Michael Bivens up here. <laughs> Michael Bivens secretly was that glue to BBD, of course, and to New Edition. And then ABC. Um, and then Boys, Boys to, Men. to Men. And the list goes on and on. Right? But was Michael Bivens... Michael Bivens was a jack of all the trades, mm -hmm. right? And then it, you fast forward years later, you realize he was also a, a big major part of the decisions in the business. This is what I like about West Side Gun. Mm -hmm. The same energy he puts into the art as an MC. He loves to rap. He loves to make music. Three days, I want to say, or two days, the piece fly got, how many days it take you to it's all a blur, but it don't take long, man. Seven, three, two, three days yeah, average two, to do an album? For sure, for sure. And we celebrate, and then you pray for me. Yeah, we here, man. We are here, West Side Gun, man. Why do you love to rap so much, <laughs> bro? <clears throat> I mean, it's not even the fact I like to rap so much, man, but, you know, sometimes, man, just, just beats move me, man, and I just, I get in my zone, because for, like, you know, it might be a few months where I don't rap at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. even, you know, I'll be on my other bag. You know what I'm saying? Curating for somebody else. Uh, fashion. You know, fashion. Still sit front row at all the wrestlings. Mm -hmm. You know, I do everything. And, 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 that's, and that's all after still being, you know, the best father I can be. So, you know, man. You can't, can't. <laughs> no, but, you know, I, I, <laughs> you know it, it's, it's just like, you know, I just love the culture, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? This this is a this is a uh a competitive sport. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm I'm the main guy who always, you know, I'm not a fan of the once every three, four years artist. You know that's not true, yeah. bro. I'm not I'm not I'm not a fan of that. I think um, you know, when people start investing into you and they they uh want to see you create like you know what I'm trying to say it's like if you got a favorite basketball player you don't want to see him only play <laughs> two games a year yeah, yeah. you want to see him every time <laughs> you know you're gonna be saying? pissed if he ain't the yeah, game I mean, yeah yeah just, just imagine you spent your last dollar ever to try to see your favorite player and you come and he just laughing on the bench in, in, in full gear laughing with his friends on the side like I hate that type yeah. of shit yeah like bro do you know somebody just this they first game they ever came to in they life they paid good money and just because you went out partying last night mm -hmm. you don't want to play today like that's mm. not right i'm not i'm not a fan of that I'm a, I'm i'm a fan of giving the fans what they want man and let me tell you something y'all we this is a morning a live morning show this ain't a uh something you could tape on monday and, and release two or three weeks ago this happens now this man is straight from the party yeah. yes he is <laughs> he's yeah. straight from the party man 
What was the party? How was it? <laughs> <laughs> How was the party? Nah, the party, the party was it was super dope, man. Yeah. A lot of you know, I can't even tell you who all came because I just once I got there, I went kind of like straight to the back and right. I was just seeing people left and right, and just I was just kind of in my zone. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And um. I took I took Pootie, man. Pootie party last night. Pootie man. party? Pootie 10 now, man. She she got Pootie the party? fake ID. Oh Pootie got the fake you, ID. Oh man. She got Pootie a more exciting life. You went in too summer. early, dog. <laughs> hey, you you moved too early, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You know, Pootie Pootie been a part of my whole career. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And yeah. um, you know, this was this was a last night was a big moment for me because I don't have red carpet events. I don't have parties. I don't really do a lot of that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So for the first time, I just really wanted to like have my family, my little sister, mm -hmm. you know, people just there with me that been supporting me for since day one. I never really been around. Like last night was like a family moment. And that's um, amazing. Man, it was just dope, man. A lot of tastemakers, man, mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, fashion heads, you know, uh Big Paul was in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Paul who? What you mean? This Paul? What you mean? Paul, Paul Rosenberg? What other oh, Paul? Come on, was in man. There? Oh, no. Paul Rosenberg? What, 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 I, what other Paul was in there? Yo, Paul left the palace? Man, Paul was in <laughs> VIP with me, man. What? Of course. Okay, Paul PR. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, only you gonna get that to happen. <laughs> man, I can't get this dude to come to my birthday party. How you That's do that? I know the party. Oh, super fly guy, <laughs> man. Damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> Paul, all right, but I like that. Yeah. People course. seeing y'all together is great, right? Of course, of course, of course. And like I told him last night, man, I thank them for everything again. Mm-hmm. Speak to that, because folks always assume there's something there when there's nothing there, right? No, it's not there at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, With Shady and you, Paul you know, and Eminem. You know, the thing about it is, man, you know, I I don't even like really speaking a lot on it, but I do want to say, like, I thank him because, like you said, even signed to a major, I was able to get my rocks off. Mm -hmm. And he could have been like, no, yeah. sober. Cease and desist. Uh uh. This not coming out. Nah, we gotta wait because we wanna. He let me run. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I thank him for that because that's so rare. That you know is. What I'm saying? He, he didn't have to do that. And that's why I respect him even more. Mm -hmm. Now, if he just held me back and mm -hmm. was just like, nah, you can't do this. Nah, you can't. Uh 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 uh. Then that would have been an issue. But he was still letting me, you know, eat, feed my family, do what I had to do and, and, and grow as an artist. And, you know, just from uh, the shady days to now, it only been a few years, but it's just like the growth of West Side Gun, even from then to now, it, it's like he just, he's just proud of me. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's amazing. I love it, man. Surely. These are the stories that we need to talk about as well. Okay. I'm curious. Um, you were very instrumental. We all know the story of Benny the Butcher, and, 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 you know, um, coming into the gang, Conway, of course, family. And I, I heard you say, I think um, that you, you know, I think you even said it here in the past that you introduced Benny to, to the rap game, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of showed him how to rap. <clears throat> who showed you how to rap? Like, who, who, who sat you down one day and said, hey, man, rewrite that? Or, man, nobody. It's crazy because nobody taught me nothing. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. when people be like, damn, you know, he on Griselda Records. It looks so good. It's, it's moving so well. Because, see, that's the thing about what people don't understand about West Side Gun. These other big names, they had, when you walk in the room, it's 50 people. Yeah. They got the best marketing. They got the best PR. They got the best this person. They got the best that person. And and these fifty people make up that person. Mm. When you know what I'm saying. So of course it's gonna end. They you know they got the building behind them. They got the bread behind the them. The machine. The machine behind them. So when you see all of that, that's not even an artist. That's the machine pushing. Mm. When you see West Side Gun is West Side Gun pushing. Yeah. When I walk in the room. I'm the fifty people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You the fifty. So when I when I have to come out on a on a day, another artist come out and he he got those fifty people. You know what I'm saying. It, it was me doing fifty people. You know what I mean. Job. So mm -hmm. it's just like, yeah, I'm the person that's you know what I mean. Got to write it, curate it. You know what I'm saying. Put it put it together sonically. As the artist, I got to focus on being you know having the best artist. I mean album I could possibly make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then I have to turn around and be West Side Gunner CEO of Griselda Records mm -hmm. and handle all the business on that too. You know what I'm mm. saying? So it's just like 
Why don't you delegate, though? Are you to that point yet? Yeah. I mean, it's... Can't let it go. Yeah, that's, because that's the thing, man. I've been yeah. doing this so long now. Yeah. It's just like, this is just my life now, man. It don't even... It, it don't even phase me. It's just mm. like, I just wake up and just do what I need to do for my life. It feels sustainable? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You keep yeah, going? I don't. I don't, um... I'm still here. That's the thing. Like, we still here <laughs> right now today. Where, you know what I'm That's saying? Where I can still give you, you know what I'm saying, an album of the year contender. There you go. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I, like I said, because the thing about it is, again, I'm I'm here fresh from the party. I, I'm not asleep. You don't see me with no entourage. Mm-hmm. You don't see me with nobody. Right. Everybody else was partying all night. He I came told, by himself. I'm by myself. Solo, that lets solo. you know. Literally by, by himself. himself. Yes. Like, we were waiting for names since yesterday. It was like, why is he not sending names? They were like, it's only one name. Right. Yeah, well, who is it? It's Listen. like him. All right. Yeah. But at the same time, why is that like you do so much? You laid it out, you know, like professionally, all of the different branches. And then also your personal life of a father, like, what does rest actually look like? Because you're still a human, and we've had so many conversations about our physical well-being, our spiritual well-being. Yeah. In hip-hop, I don't want burnout mm-hmm. to catch up with you, especially with the level of output that you so generously give us. Yeah, I mean, you know, all year long I had no pressure on me. Let me just say that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, this is how the album even came about, kind of. It was just like... Um, I went to Paris Fashion Week in January, mm-hmm. and I never came back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why so much of the doc showed you know what out saying? there. Yes. I never came back. You know what I mean? I, I just started traveling, you know what I'm saying, and seeing the world. Oh, and then um, I started seeing places I'd never seen, and it was dope. Mm. And, um, you know, that's when I was just making the album. I go to Athens, Greece. I make a, I make a song. Wow. I go to Santorini. I make a song. I go to London. I make a song. I go to Copenhagen. Make a song. Mm. You know what I mean? I go to Germany and make a song. I, I, none of the songs was made in the states. The whole album was made overseas. Wow. Really? Yeah. Ooh, did you see a difference yeah. in like the ease and the speed that it took to create? Um, because that's the thing. Usually, I make everything in two, three days. Right. But this, as I said, it was no pressure. This year was the first year I actually just lived life for the first time in my career. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, like, even, like I said, it was just like, it was just a blessing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I took, you know, my babies to the pyramids. and oh. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like my, my daughter, two years old, she know what the Eiffel Tower is. Ooh, wow. That's a stunt. <laughs> like, oh, Poodie that's, loved it. Man, Pootie loved it, man. Yeah. Pootie was mad because we didn't go last. The other day, you know, the Bills played in London. Yeah. <laughs> man, she was mad we wasn't at that game. Pootie boy. got a taste, boy, too. <laughs> hey, you, you no more, you know, she can't fly coach no more. You know that. No. Nah, nah, nah. But see, Pootie, man, like I say, you know, Pootie been there my whole career. She mm-hmm. was born when I did my first take. Well, I ain't going to say the first take because, of course, I tried back in 05, 04. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you know, current. You know what I'm saying? But, um, man. That was the year she was born, so it was just like my whole career, Pootie was there. So I, I've been having Pootie, you know, that fly guy, that drop, she was mm-hmm. probably like two or three, and she just been there my whole career, you know what I'm saying? So she been there as the growth, and it's crazy to see my daughter now, you know, her friends in school know her daddy now. It's crazy. Oh, that's, that's, hey, that's, like, hey, that's, hey, that's crazy. Because yeah, it's yeah. like, you know what wow. I mean? She just seen she, all of that. You she know get props at school, too. They love her. Hell they yeah. love Pootie. And they she love extra Pootie. protected, too. But that's cool. one of the, the, the byproducts of our success at coming through rap. You know, like I remember my daughter first going to her high school and, and the kids knowing about Sway in the Morning and the freestyles and, the you know, mm-hmm. the... Uh, you know, the doomsday cipher and they're yeah. asking all these things. And I took pride because they respected what I do, that they gave her that respect. Mm-hmm. But damn, West Side Gun also thought, damn, well, what if I do some shit that embarrasses, embarrasses her? her? Mm. You know, so yeah. it kind of limited how I use this mic, right? Yeah. And what I do in front of the camera, mm-hmm. it, it definitely governed the way, because mm-hmm. I could get nutty. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then, you know what I mean? Sure. You right? Sure. And yeah. then when she started getting of age, I was like, I can't say this shit I've been saying on mm-hmm. here. Because mm-hmm. her kids, these kids are listening. You have a, do you, are you cognizant of that when you move? I'm going to be honest. I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was the nicest answer. No. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He wasn't going to try really. to lie. <laughs> nah, because if I got to bust somebody's shit, pause. Yeah. 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 His shit getting bust. It don't, matter, it don't matter who they're. Pootie, my other <laughs> little ones, my mama. It's got to get done. Yeah, it's got to get done. For real. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm dead serious about that one. Like, you know, like, I, like, you know what I mean? It's not to sound crazy, but like, you, like I say, man, Pootie, you know, I, I love my, I love my baby because I'm just, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a stand up dude. I move with morals and principles, so it's not like I go out of character a lot. Mm -hmm. If I go out of character, she know it had to be the other person that did something to my dad because my dad don't move like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know my dad. He don't move like that. So if it escalated, it had to be you know from the other side. So. You know, she going to give me the wink. Mm. She going to give you the wink. Daddy? This kind of <laughs> makes me think of a conversation that has been storming around hip hop this week on what does rapping your age sound like? Mm -hmm. You know, um, you're in your early 40s. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you and how important or not important? What are the pros and cons of doing this at this stage of the game? I honestly feel, man, it don't even matter. Just have fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It don't matter, man. Just have fun, man. Um, you know, I'm I'm a firm. I I bridge the gap now. I've been bridging the gap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I I have fans like I said, Pooty H. I have pop ups lying all the way down the block. Kids don't even, can't even come there by themselves. They got their grandparents bringing them so they could buy a shirt and all of that, so they could wear to school. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, um, I never I came into the game at 30. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, I, I, you know, I just feel like I really, honestly, I don't like the haters, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like the um, acting like the young boys is not nice because mm -hmm. they don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I don't like that part. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, how can you understand it if you 45 and he's 16, you know what I'm saying? Or he, <laughs> he's 19, he's 22. Like, how can you understand that? It's a different language, and that's their art. You can't knock that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's their art. Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean? You Just because you don't, you know, understand it don't mean that, you know, that's not culture, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you got you to gotta move with the times. And um, I'm just... Like I said, I, I'm always me, and at this point in my life now, like I said, I, I went to Paris. I just so this album even sound different because yes, like I'm now sure. you're gonna hear me, you're gonna hear the before it was like this is the East Side Buffalo West Side mm -hmm. Gun. Mm -hmm. Now this is the you know what I'm saying me eating filet mignon staring at the yeah. Coliseum. International <laughs> Gun. Yeah. It's global gun. It's yeah, global gun. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so I like that. So that's why this album is different. Like you might not ever get this sound again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like it was just a moment. You know what I'm saying? And I, I wasn't thinking about somebody gonna like it or not. Mm -hmm. Or man, it, this this uh, this on a trap beat is is am I gonna lose my core fans? Cause I'm I'm the king of this underground shit. They gonna look at me and be like, no, not 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 West Side Gun. You can't rap on a trap. Like why not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What, what, what you like why not like I, I'm you know man just have fun you know what I'm saying whatever come to your heart long as it's pure mm -hmm. man just do you cause somebody gonna hate regardless there that you part. go somebody gonna hate West regardless Side so gun. be happy man play that shit I wanna add to that uh I like that having happy because I was talking to I actually got to witness a, a, a moment that I can bring up because uh, Gabriel Luna the actor uh -huh. came here uh, a couple years ago. He's promoting Terminator Dark Fate when he uh -huh. played the Rev-9. And he was talking during the interview about how much he loved Griselda, and he was such a huge fan. Didn't realize that Westside was coming up that day. I remember and that. And ever since then, they've been tight friends. And so I hit Gabe last night, and I was like, yo, we got Westside coming by tomorrow. He said, yo, I saw him briefly when we performed um, when he performed at AEW show in Buffalo last year. Congratulate him on his new film for me. And also, I don't know if he's watching any NXT, but ask him if he watched uh, Dragon All versus Hayes 2, match of the year. Mm. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I heard about it. Um, I was busy at that time. But you know, I, I I just watched it uh Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like you know, if, if I'm if I'm not busy, you know, of course sometimes if you're busy, you can't help that. You traveling, you moving around, you can't help that. 
Um, that probably had to be one of them, you know, traveling days. But like I said, I watch wrestling faithful. I watch wrestling four days out of out of seven. You know what I'm saying? Like Damn. for real, for real. Like I, I only watch TV um to watch wrestling. I, feel like, <laughs> Yo, that's a I don't method. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I you feel like your saying? work ethic is is reminiscent of like those wow. old wrestlers who would just you know they went to every show gig no matter how much they were getting paid how mm. many you know they hadn't eat slept or whatever but they just worked their ass off because mm. they knew it would pay off in the long run and you know th- th- the physical toll that it takes on them but you're kind of in control in that same way yeah yeah nah for sure you know what I'm saying like it's it's just the grind you know what I'm saying and and you know I love because I'm a real wrestling head so. I know when people first come and then I love to see the growth of like when they finally make it to be a champion or mm, you know like what I'm saying they finally yeah, like, they yeah. be like yo you know what I'm saying but then I get too invested because that be my man and when motherfucker lose I'm like yo man, what's that? yo man why do you got to take the belt off you man I'm about to call Vince I'm about to call Vince <laughs> hey, you got Vince number nah hell nah oh. <laughs> shit it's coming I feel it yeah it's Vin- Vince not coming to the party oh, yeah, Vince ain't coming to the party <laughs> Paul will be there. Yeah. All right, gonna be there. Paul gonna be there, man. Hey, we got West Side Gun up in here. We celebrate, and then you pray for me. Yeah, uh, I'm open up these phone lines. 888-742-3345. I will say, in this year, we've had a lot of guests on this show, and people get you know look really great when they come up here. The energy is right. You know, people uh, enjoy being in our environment like we enjoy having them in it. But if we did an award show today. Talk about it. On the flyers ice <laughs> that we've seen in 2023 in this room, hands down, West Side Gun oh, wins the award. Oh, yeah. Thank, there you go. Taking it off. The Sway in the Morning with Heather B. and Tracy G. Award for the flyers <laughs> ice. Of the year. Your wrist is making me tired. These are called the fly yeah. guys. The fl- well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say this, though. I did leave like the other seven chains at home. I really wanted to come here ignorant as hell. I swear I did. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, but you know I'm still I'm still from party mode. Yeah, you You know what I'm saying. I, 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 you know I'm I'm hot with this jacket on, but shit, it costs. And I say, hey man, this motherfucker costs eight thousand. I ain't taking it off. Hey, can I try it on? I never wore a jacket. Can I touch this? Yo, the color, the color is 1,000. I mean, how many times can you wear this? (laughs) Today. (laughs) That's why it's still on. What size is it? (laughs) Right, past that. That's still on. Is that an XL? No, it's like a large. I I can fit a large. I've been in the gym. Damn, I like to say that. Big, no. All right. This this never came out in the States, man. This is is, Gucci only made three of these. Stand up, bro. Let's see. Yeah, Gucci only made three of these, man. This is a racist suit Gucci. (laughs) Twelve thousand. Damn. <laughs> nah, it's too oh, different. It's it? Wow. It's too different. It's royal blue, yeah. full satin. You know, Sweetie is gonna be hosting something soon, and he yeah. needs an outfit. Yeah. So good. Doing one music festival in Atlanta. I promise. I promise you, you can wear. It. Sway, you better thank me for that shit. Yo, we hey, got. Dude, I got I, I'm not signing no waiver or nothing. If shit happens to I promise. I promise you can wear. It. My man, West Side Gun, eight 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 seven four two. Did you give him a chain too? Three three four five. What? I might need a chain to go with the jacket, y'all. Shay four five. Sway in the morning. Heather B. Tracy G. Yeah, 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 yeah. West Side Gun, Global Gun in the building. Global. <laughs> I like that. You gotta get like a uh, like another language of like his ad libs. You know what I'm saying? Like something in French or. <laughs> Can we hear all your ad libs? Ga 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 ga. I said, I'm gonna make a new one up right here. Everybody understands what that means across the world. It's kind of scary how accurate you are with that noise. Because Sway was having a little bit of trouble. I feel like Sway needs a tutorial. On what? Westside Gun ad Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you had. Ga 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 The other one you was doing toot 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 toot. That that's. Stop shooting that little ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a water gun. You were shooting a water gun. Wasn't the West Side gun? That was a little ass P gun right there. Uh, <laughs> that little starter <laughs> pistol. Yeah, yeah. Help him out, West Side. Nah, that's good. I mean, you know, I just. Boop. What did you hear that? Let me hear that. <laughs> Do that again. Boop. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the one. Yeah, that's the one shooter. That's the one Got a good ass aim when you pull that one out. Shit. Yeah, that was the walk up. That's the walk up, right? All right, West Side Gun is here. We're talking about the new album, and then you pray for me. So we went for pray for Paris to then you pray for me. You had that figured out already. I said that um on my Eric B record, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, on on part two of the series. I, I said that then, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's me saying that a decade ago of just like pray for Paris and you pray for me. And um, you know, it was when it was time for the sequel, it was just like it, it that was just like the most fit thing I could think of. It just like how perfect could it be to just you know what I mean, let yeah. it roll like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That that was just a part of my genius and shit and just you know, um, you know, the first time, you know, Pray for Paris came out in twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You know, like I said, it was a different time. It was the first time I ever had went to Paris mm -hmm. Fashion Week. You know, I was out there with Virgil. Virgil, man, you know, rest in power to Virgil, yes. man. You know Jesus, it, man. You know what I mean? He, yeah, come you know, on. He, you know, he designed this. He did this Mona Lisa on my neck. You know what I'm saying? And um, but it was just a different. He did the album cover too, right? Of course, yes, yes yep. yep. He did both covers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like um. When I went this year, it was the same energy as the first time I went. So mm -hmm. it was just like it was only right that um, I made just part two because for a while, you know, people it's it's corny. Like sometimes when you make sequels and it don't live up to the hype, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like I don't, I never want to come out with like Fly God two. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's like how, like why, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I never, you know, it's it's certain albums. It's like okay, like I did. Fly God is an awesome guy too. Mm -hmm. That made sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it was just like you know, a lot of a lot of albums you just leave alone. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you don't want to mess up the legacy. Just yeah. let it be. Just right. come out with something else, not another title. Because mm -hmm. you put too much pressure on your back. Mm -hmm. If you made a, <laughs> the first one was a classic, and now yeah. you know what I'm saying you trying to. Uh, Cause you compete you know, with live yourself. Up to the hype. You don't yeah. have to because that project is a part of your team. You shouldn't compete with mm. your team. And 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 that's the thing. I, I think it's just like a lot of people put that pressure on them seriously though. When it's just like yo, you know, because you know the hype be real. Like yeah. you just gotta, you know, what I mean, you gotta perform at all times. And if you, like I said, I could come out right now. And people hate this album. They're gonna be like, yo, you should have never did that. Mm -hmm. But I got confidence enough to be like. Nah, can't nobody fuck with this shit. And I go. know this is the same energy I had when I was sitting with Virgil. You know, it's yeah, the same, yeah, energy same energy as the first one. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, this might have uh, more sounds on it, and that's just because I'm catering to more people now. I'm 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 experiencing more cultures yes. now. Yeah. Um, my life is just different now. Like I said, I don't know if a, a, another album will sound mm -hmm. like this again. Yeah. yeah, This was just a moment. And, and if people, if it sounds on here that you're not familiar with or you really don't, you know, fuck with, because like I said, people had a hater mentality. They don't understand what they don't know. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the thing about me, a lot of people, when it, when it comes to this shit, when it comes to like rankings or is West Side Gun night? You know what I mean? You know, they always say, you know, Conway, you know, uh, and Benny, you know what I mean, is the lyricist and all of that. But the thing about it is that's because them same people that say that, they don't understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. They've never been locked up. <laughs> they never had a $10,000 outfit. Uh -huh. They never, <laughs> they don't drive what I drive. They don't wear what I wear. They don't eat what I eat. They haven't been where I've been. They never really been in no raids. They never really been in no shootouts. They really yeah. never had, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. None of that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? And again, you know, this is the first time you ever seen Buffalo in your life. Facts. We had it. We had it very, very hard. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we done been through a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you know, like I, I, up to this point, I wanted to show the world Buffalo. That was my purpose. Mm -hmm. Like I, I had an agenda because it was just like we've been slighted too long. And, and if I'm going to do this shit, I got to let people know where I'm from. You know the stories, what it's about, and for you know for us to get you know our respect. You know what I'm saying because we always been slighted yeah. forever. You know what I mean? We we don't you know our sports teams is losing. We <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Not, you know for for yeah. a long time. Yeah. We we not losing no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. But it's just like you know the energy in the streets now is just like 
you know, my, my city got something to be proud of. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? And um, you know, I'm just happy to still be here and I'm 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 not I'm not gonna stop pushing the culture, man, as long as I got two feet, man. There you I'm, go. I'm, I'm pushing this culture, man. Westside Gun, he got his own day. What day is Westside Gun Woo! Day in Buffalo? Oh, man, August 28th, man, yeah. Westside Gun it. Day. There you go, man. We got, uh, let me see, Nick on the line from the Bronx. Nick, what up? From what the up, Boogie Nick? Down Bronx. Yo, what's good, everybody? How y'all doing? Uh, hey, 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 hey. hey. Great. What's, up, what's up, man? Great morning, hey, bro. Man, listen, I got nothing but, man, these guys have changed the game forever. Thank you, my brother. They the coldest in the game right now. Mm. Ain't nobody on these guys' levels. And I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New York. I acknowledge the greatness that has come from here. But right now, Westside, uh, Conway, Benny, 38 Special, those guys, these guys are putting New York on the top of the top. None of their albums got skips. I just listen to that shit, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing it like them. Ain't nobody doing it yeah, like them. I promise, you. if you listen to these albums, any of these albums that came out in 2022 from these guys, no skits. No skits on none of these albums. Beyond Belief. 10. Can of Talk 4. God Don't Make Mistakes. They is. Ain't nobody fucking with y'all right now. And I got to say, man, I appreciate what y'all doing. Thank and you, man. shit, man, I just I just love what y'all doing to the game. I call y'all I call y'all kind of rap this boom bap sure, but I call it cold rap. Cold that, rap. That I like that. Rap. Uh, that cold. cold boy, and cold. Ten toes down in cold up in the there winter. in Buffalo, nah, man. Real. Come on. If you ten toes down in the winter in Buffalo. You a cold nigga. <laughs> I heard that, man. <laughs> you a cold nah, nigga. I got nothing but love for y'all, man. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Nothing else I can say about y'all. Nah, no, right. thank you, my brother, man. Nothing but love, man. And you're right. No skips. No skips. <laughs> Shit, I almost yeah, said no thank skips, you, man. He, yeah. All the props. I felt Griselda. I am right. Griselda, in case y'all didn't know. For sure. Bro, Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, man, you're a citizen, brother. Let's Thanks for your call. Hey, Curtis from Buffalo, man. Come on, Kurt. Big Kurt. Oh, Come Kurt. on. No. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, yo. 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 Hey, man, yo. You know, I'm from the city, man. Yo, West Side, man. Hey, man, I love what you're doing, man. I don't even think you remember me. I was unloading oh, no. on uh, Bailey Avenue Come on, at the Kurt. Bailey Fish Market. Kirk, don't do that. Yo, wait, I, wait, you, uh-oh, he, you triggered something. You said, what happened? <laughs> I was unloading on Bailey Fish Market with my older brother. We used to hang out. You know, I remember y'all used to come through Goodyear. I grew up in Goodyear and, and, and Bailey. Okay, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, only, so, only. Man, we used to, only only thing is good year and belly don't even connect, my brother. That's not even a that's not even an intersection. Oh, belly no. oh. Good Year don't even Good year off Genesee. That's not Bailey. Come on, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt was a Buffalo imposter. Yo, it's oh, like man. the man Damn. just pulled up and said, get out of here. He was doing so good. <laughs> you, you cannot call the wrong corners and streets <laughs> when you talking mm -mm. about somebody's no, no, neighborhood. No. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm. We, we, talk, we talking Montana. We talking Nevada. We talking Moselle. We talking good year. That's not Bailey, my brother. That's not Bailey, right? <laughs> You not uh -uh. Griselda, <laughs> nah, but no, Kurt. Thanks for supporting. Nah, I love you. Yeah, yeah, Kurt, we clowning. Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, we clowning. Kurt, you remember you? You and your brother used to be out in front of the grocery. <laughs> I remember that. Come yeah, on, with man. the shoes on and the hat. Hey, James, what up, man? Welcome to the show. Big J, what up? Yo, 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 rise and shine the sway. You yes. know, Tracy D. Shout out to Heather B. Yes, West sir. Side Gun. Yo, yo. DB Torts. Line light all y'all. Just want to say, you know, rise and sign. Yo, West Side Gun, I learned about you from my brother in law, so to my step brother Brian. Yo, mm -hmm. you put me on to like the whole underground hip hop era. That's how I learned about you guys in Griselda. I just want to say you guys are dope. But my my question for you is where'd you get the idea to make Margella split toes? Because every time I throw that beat on on the sound system or surround sound, y'all think gotta y'all gotta play that 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 <laughs> that bass line. The lyrics, yo, everything is dope. I yo. thought you guys are great. It's forever fire. All right, thank you. Shout out to Makami as well. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know, we made a classic with that Pray for Haiti, man. Ooh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, yeah. Yeah. You know, like I, I always say, man, West Side Gun, I still going to give you what I give you, but let's not forget I'm always curating the other best albums of the year. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's it's true. Like, you, you curate their projects. Yeah, like let's not forget that. And, and it, it all, like when you get a West Side Gun curated project, yeah. I pick every beat, I name the songs, I put them in order, I do the cover, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I do the merch. I, that's what I'm telling you. Westside Gun does it all. Like, I'd have time to, you know what I mean? So when you get a Rome Streets Kiss the Ring, when you get an Armani Caesar Liz, when you get a Bodie James, you know what I'm saying, Versace tape, when you get... Uh, you know, uh, St. Knack Knack saw Jim Duncan, which is the hardest album of the year, period, sonically, mm-hmm. because just the the style of St. Knack is a one of one, which is rare in today's game. You know what I'm saying? So to have a one of one MC and just the production was crazy. We we flew out to uh, Dominican Republic, shot mm-hmm. the shot the video out in '42 in the mm-hmm. hood. You know what I'm saying? I got on my the shit. I was glistening in out there in but, VR. Man, for in the forty two, shout out to the forty two uh-huh. and all my, you know, Dominicans, man. What's you know the forty two? That's the neighborhood out there. Yeah, they them do most. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers, yeah. wow, boys. What up to the forty two? <laughs> shout out to the forty two. <laughs> no problem, y'all. Yeah, no wow, boy. Ball, I'm talking about man. You know, it, it it was a it was an experience that I never forget. That was like the first time where like I went somewhere and like. They was hanging off like that top of the trucks. Yeah. In the you know what I'm saying? Damn. Like we had to literally like because you know, everybody, you know, it, it, they was I ain't gonna say they was hungry. Yeah. But it, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, you know, a lot of people was like, yo, look out. You know what I'm saying? Ambitious. And I never knew it was yeah. I never knew it was like that over there. Mm-hmm. I was you know, you hear about it, the Dominican Republic. I'm 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 came out there to be on some fly shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You thought you was going to Punta Cana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> thought I was going on a resort or some right. shit. <laughs> 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 Man, I Man. went I went I went over there. It was, it was it was some of the grimiest shit I ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? And and like huh. I said, I, I wasn't even prepared for that. But it was just fun. But I like I said, I wish I could have gave back more. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. it's just like you know when you when you go to when you go to people's city, mm-hmm. you you can't stun on them. Nah, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, that wasn't my intention. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was it it, it kind of like broke me like a little bit because it was like I'm looking at kids like damn like can I get a dollar? Can I get a, that reality? Can I get that, huh. da, 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 da. You know I'm trying to give out as much as I can. Then you run out. You be like and now you still got like. 30 kids. Yeah. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I haven't ate in two days. You be like, oh, what? shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it was just, when it was time to leave, man, they they was they was on them trucks, boy. Like, they, it, it was just, it was crazy to see. So, Do you, think you know, you I told the homies. Of course. Yeah. And, and I told the homies, you know, I want to go out there again in December and just do a give back. Because that's the thing. Like, now that I've seen it, you know, if you never seen something, you don't know. Mm-hmm. But now that I didn't seen it, I feel like it's my duty to go back and at least do something for that community yeah. just from the heart. And I've been cool with like the you know what I mean the homies that like run over there, like them they family now. Like okay. they like well, where you coming back? You know what I'm saying? We stay in touch all the time. Like they reach out at least once a week. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. Man, I'm coming back to the 42. Going, we got to do, we got to do, so we got to yes. do something for the kids. And they go over to Haiti too. That's for sure. right, for there. sure, yeah, yeah. For sure. For for sure. sure. From Haiti, her mm-hmm. family. Yo, when you do that, let me know. Okay, I've been sure. to DR. I would yeah. love to go over there again. I've been to DR, but I've been on them resorts. <laughs> <laughs> Sway was looking at butts. Different agenda. <laughs> the Sorry. hell? Okay, I mean, you <laughs> were. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to the 42 shout man. out to the 42 that's what's up man uh, man West Side Gun hey I want to say congratulations yes thank you the, the life that you have authored is a great read and we ain't even got halfway through the book mm-hmm. you doing all of these things on your own mm-hmm. Rock the Bells uh, brand with LL Cool J went from a song to a radio station to a cruise to a <laughs> to a, a concert to festival. a festival, I mean a yeah. festival, yeah. to a resort now. My gosh, what? yeah, a resort, man. I'm hosting something in April. Rock wow. the bells in Cancun. My wow. God, because wow. it's LL. Fuck you, mean you? You mean we? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh, just to slow it down, you can get yeah, your own thing. Yeah, you know, you know. So, you know. So, um, team outing. So, what, when I hear you talk about your vision. Mm-hmm. It's more than just an artist, more than just a, well, it's art in its different forms, right? It's mm-hmm. art in business, the way you're doing it. What is your vision for the Griselda brand now? It's it's not just <clears throat> a, a music label. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, that's the thing, man, sky the limit, because 
I'm just getting started. Like I'm I'm a I'm a you know a creator, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been doing this since day one. It took a little longer than a lot of people because again, I'm from a city where we just didn't have the resources. And even when you went the streets, it was like even when we was trying to rap back in the day, it's like with with no resources and really like nobody behind you to really like give you like the man come under my wing. You know what I'm saying? Let mm-hmm. me show you the way. You know, um, it really wasn't that. It was like drug dealers buying studio equipment. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just cooking. Like, that's, and then we playing in and smoking and vibing. And, you know, it might be on some Buffalo shit. And we, we moving and grooving like that. But, like, nobody had really, like, was just like, yo, nah, we about to just, you know what I mean? But I always, always been the leader. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I always been a, a creator. I always been kind of like ahead of the game. And that's why. You know, I knew it was gonna pop. You know what I mean with Conway, but then that's when he got shot. Yeah, and then it was just like, okay, what what are we gonna do now? Because the energy was already there. It's like for the first time, like you got to think at that time nobody had never made it from my city. So we, for the first time in history, we starting to get traction. Mm-hmm. Then he got shot. It's like, damn, what are we gonna do? And then that the business in me was just like, yo, the business in me came in before. The rapper came in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know he was the saying? business guy before yeah. the MC. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also, I was doing clothes. So, you know, Griselda by Fashion Rebels was before Griselda Records. So, yeah. that's exactly. what I'm saying. So, that's why West Side Gun is a little different because I was already doing the fashion. I wasn't a rapper, and all of a sudden it was like, hey, I want to do a clothing line like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I was actually a designer first. And, you know, like I said, man, at that time, it was just like, the business in me kicked in like, yo, I, I'm nicer than 90% of the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They they rapping about selling drugs. I'm really selling drugs, like right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like all the shit. in my hand and I'm yeah, like, everybody, done. everybody. <laughs> Chill. Like, every, no, for well, real. Like, every, everything that w- they was rapping about, we was already living, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, moving like that already. Yeah, and it was just like, yo, nah, let me just, let me, let me go hard with this. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I could talk about it now, but I was hustling all the way to, like, part four or five in the series you know what i'm saying oh, really like, for real like like i said because you know that's all we really had it wasn't like we was making no money off the music we was really still just trying to get the name lit you know what i mean I, the most i might make is off some vinyl or some merch mm-hmm. or it was just like but i'm not you know what i'm saying driving no rolls royce you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i'm not and all the all the shit i'm seeing everybody else doing it i i, I actually thought was bombs like because that's the <laughs> thing like, <laughs> you thought whack dudes was worry. getting rewards yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. like yeah like nah hold on nah nah we, we we could take this shit over and i never look back mm. there you go man the story of griselda <laughs> movie coming soon <laughs> i'm narrating I just threw that out there to see how that sounds. That'll be super fun. I'm, I'm there. Hey, promise you. If you if you if you make the lane, you want my voice to lend to it. I'm there. Y'all heard this? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I'm giving it to you right. You this is mean? the voice I would probably choose to use when I narrate. <laughs> that the, octave. You know, in 2004, 2005, in Buffalo, New York, <laughs> there was a movement on the brink of explosion. <laughs> Griselda. <laughs> <laughs> Better. That's better? better. That's better. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, brother, I'm proud of you. I'm inspired yes. by you. We are in your corner. Yes, we are. All right. Keep going. Yes, the yes. man showed up by himself. Mm. The man didn't even go home. He came straight from the club. <laughs> He's still sweating out whatever he was drinking. <laughs> Woo! Not the 42. Ma- I, I was drinking the 42. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even drink. It's crazy because I don't drink with champagne. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But like last night, <laughs> man, what's what well, today? <laughs> <laughs> that was just a couple hours ago, bro. Right. Man, we just living life, man. We having fun. Even my even my mama in New York City right now, man. Mom's we having out fun. Here. Even my mom's out here, man. man. OG Connie. OG we out Connie, here, man. OG Where it all started from. You know, this all started from, you know, my mom and, and, and Benny mom, man. Them growing up together their whole mm. life. You know what I'm saying? They used so, to run the streets and, and man, oh no, that was real. They was infamous. <laughs> Goodness. Connie and Babs. Man, them, wow. the, the, the movie could just start with them. 
Connie and Babs. That's yeah. the title. What a duo. That's my yeah. man, Matt. He's a filmmaker. Y'all might mm-hmm. need to connect. And let's, you know, I know you already got your own thing, but he's a great visionary right there. Yes, yeah, sir. All right, man. West Side Gun. Give it up for West Side Gun. Yo, Come yo. on, man. Hey, and then you pray for me. Friday the 13th. Tomorrow. Gosh. Tomorrow yes. the album is out. We're going to end Gosh. with a song no one has heard yet. All right? But we want to thank um, um, all our guests so far. This Who did we have today? Just West Side Gun. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that we want to thank marquee. all our guests for coming yeah. through today. <laughs> the, the only yeah, I, I mean, myself. that motherfucking jury are guests of their own. We yeah. have to God, put man. their names on the security <laughs> list. Wristband. <laughs> Necklace. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> grill. Long live Virgil, man. Long live Virgil. What did Virgil think? Did he did he ever make it to Buffalo? Nope. Mm. Nope. Yeah. nope. Nope. And you know, that's the thing, man. Like, he definitely would have. Yeah. I think if I would even asked him, he would have. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, it's always about time. You know, I'm a person. I'm not about to sweat nobody or yeah. nothing. Like, I let people just be like... Yo, man, I want to come up there and fuck with you, see what it's about. And then it be like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not one of them people that's just, you know, a nag or, you know what I mean? I don't really like asking people for favors much. I just like kind of things just happen organically. So I'll be waiting for people to be like, yo, man, I've never been to Buff. I want to come see it. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to just show you the best time you ever had in your life. Mm. Say less. I must. We, I will exchange numbers again so I could get that jacket. All right. <laughs> yo, that's ask. foul as hell, yo. Slay brought it back from the yo. beginning to the end. Yo, the way we that. started this conversation, yo. the way we gonna yo, end, end this, it. I'll be perfect to narrate your doc. All right. Yes, uh, yes. Hey man, we gonna get to it, man. Y'all stay on the right side of positivity.